Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read poem The Sea, unit number 8 from Oxford Reading Circle. Students, The Sea by James Reeves basically talks about how the sea is similar to a dog in many occasions. Now read the poem together. I will read first stanza and explain it. The Sea The sea is a hungry dog, giant and grey. He rolls on the beach all day with his clashing teeth and shaggy jaws. Hours upon hours he gnaws the rumbling, trembling stones and bones, 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 bones. The giant sea dog moans, licking his greasy paws. In the first stanza, the sea is compared by a metaphor to a hungry dog. This show that in the cold winter days the sea is very rough by the repetition of bones 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 the poet shows us that he is hungry and when the night wind roars and the moon rocks in the stormy cloud he bones to his feet and snuffs and sniffs shaking his fat sides over the cliffs and howls and hollows long and loud in the second stanza, the poet now describes the sea to a playful dog. Here the dog is very energetic. First stanza But on quiet days in May or June, when even the grasses on the dune play no more their reedy tune, with his head between his paws, he lies on the sandy shores. So quiet, so quiet, he scarcely snores. In the third stanza, the poet describes the sea as a calm dog. This happens mostly during summer. It lets people enjoy and have fun. Now come to the exercises. Questions 1. Why do you think the sea is being compared to a hungry dog? Answer. Because of the way it looks, sounds and sleepy, it is hungry like a dog. The poet sees a similarity between the sea and a dog. 2. What gets not? Answer. The rumbling, trembling stones on the beach get not. 3. Reread the poem. Can you compare and an analyze the changes in the t state of the sea when it is wild and when it is quiet? Explain the comparison in detail with the reference to the poem. Answer. During a storm, the sea becomes rough. It also makes loud noises for a long time and the sea is calm and quiet in the months of May and June. When it is wild, the poet uses a number of adjectives, words and phrases to describe it, like it moans, gnaws, snuffs and sniffs, roars, howls and hollows with its clashing teeth, shaggy jaws. Whereas when it is calm and peaceful, the sea does not play, or rather keeps his head between paws and remains quiet and lies on the seashore. B. Reference to context. Read these lines from the poem and then answer the questions. 1. He rolls on the beach all day. A. What is really being described here? Answer. The waves of the sea are being described here. B. Who rolls on the beach? Answer. The waves roll on the beach. C. Why does he roll on the beach? What is he doing? Answer. The waves come and break on the shore and slowly recede. 2. The rumbling, trembling stones. A. What really makes the stones move? Answer. The waves of the sea make the stones move. B. What are the stones compared to? Answer. The stones are compared to bones. C. What is being done to the stones in the comparison? Answer. The stones are being gnawed like a dog would do to a bone. C. Words and meanings. Which of the words below would be the best one to use in the, this sentence? His stomach was rumbling because he had not had any breakfast. Use the other words given above in sentences of your own. Moan. Her soft moans of pain were faintly heard. Roars. We could hear roars of laughter from inside the children's tent. Trembling. Razia tripped and went trembling down the stairs. Reedy. Shazia began singing her reedy voice. Howls. Daud could barely sleep because of the dog's howls all through the night. 
Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.